my name is Kelly and I have a garden lifestyle brand called Cotton and Moss. Five years ago, my partner and I rented a small 700 square foot apartment in Brooklyn, New York. The beauty of this space was that it had a rooftop deck of similar size, which we transformed into a gardening oasis. We were growing everything from lettuces to eight foot tall sunflowers. This was the seed for cotton and moss. After 10 years in the New York fashion industry mixed with some horticulture courses, I decided to take the notion of knowing where your food comes from and apply that to any product, whether it was a handcrafted planter, a utility apron, or a locally sourced beeswax candle, to make, design, and curate while focusing on quality, sustainability, and made in the USA. In addition to this, Cotton and Moss Garden Style events include tour experiences and workshops. We want to inspire folks to take on any gardening project. That's why with each event, we utilize video tips to invite our clientele to check us out. Overall, the lawn and garden industry has grown year over year, with it being a $50 billion industry. One in three households has some form of a garden. What's more interesting is that millennials take up 29% of that space. My current model of selling my work is e-commerce, specialty markets, and experiences that focus on direct on direct to direct to consumer. I recently started to explore wholesale and can imagine collaborating with botanic gardens all over the US. For my retail goods, I use a two to two and a half times markup strategy with the intent to add more inventory over time to increase sales. For my experiences, I use a formula of time, materials, and rental fees to evaluate the admission. An added bonus is I can upsell my retail goods at these events, which leads me to what I envision for a better and stronger business. Going into my second year with the inclusion of experiences, I'm on track to double my revenue. So what I'd love to do is build out my 500 square foot shed. It's a complete shell, but it needs some interior love, including insulation, heating, and cooling. By doing this, I could avoid fees related to renting spaces and host small group experiences via Airbnb. Now when you travel to a new city, not only can you find a cool place to stay, but unique experiences around town. If I could host two to four more workshops a month, that would add up to 800 more in revenue while decreasing my operating costs. I'm looking for contract work, supplies, or funds up to 40,000 to make this happen. Another aspect of the business I'm looking to partner on is a new product concept. I'd like to create quarterly box sets that include awesome packaging, products, seasonal tips, and a give back program. I want folks to be excited and inspired when these arrive at their doorstep. If I could create a $49 box set and get it out to 100 people per season, that would add up to 20,000 more in revenue. I'm looking for a comprehensive strategy that includes design, sourcing, and logistics. Lastly, I'm looking for a strategic partner in marketing. I work with local publications, but if I want a thriving e-commerce business, I need to reach a wider network. I'd like to evaluate my current messaging and come up with a focused digital marketing strategy. Additionally, I think of my customers reading Garden and Gun, Living, and Magnolia Journal, and I'm looking for help landing mentions in these magazines. So I leave you with this. In 2003, Joanna Gaines started the original Magnolia store, and it looked like this. Over 12 years later, she bloomed to a 12,000 square foot grain barn, including a restaurant, bakery, TV, uh, and a journal, and a store. Um, I've always imagined cotton and moss as a destination, whether online or in store, a place full of sunlight, filled with, filled with unique plants, and modern. Folks collaborating in a workshop, over coffee or a cocktail, all while providing the best in garden goods. Let's inspire folks to make their garden dreams come true. Thank you.